Thanks for stopping by. This is Two Minute Classroom, and today we're talking about temperature scales and how to convert between them. First, let's introduce the scales, and then I'll talk about how to convert between them. Celsius, or centigrade, is used in countries that use the metric system. Water freezes at 0 degrees Celsius and boils at 100 degrees Celsius. On the Fahrenheit scale, water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit and boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. The third and final scale is the Kelvin scale. It is similar to the Celsius scale, but shifted by 273. So water freezes at 273 Kelvin and boils at 373 Kelvin. The Kelvin scale is based on absolute zero. This is the lowest temperature that is theoretically possible and puts atoms in their lowest energy state. So absolute zero is zero Kelvin, which is approximately negative 273 degrees Celsius and negative 459 degrees Fahrenheit, which is pretty chilly. Converting between Celsius and Kelvin is easy because one degree movement on the Celsius scale is equal to one on the Kelvin. There is just a difference of 273 between the temperatures. So simply take the Celsius temperature and add 273 to get Kelvin. Converting between Celsius and Fahrenheit is a little trickier because the, deg the degrees are not equivalent. Luckily, there is a simple equation. Let's convert 18 degrees Celsius into Fahrenheit. First, multiply 18 by 9 fifths, then add 32, which gives you 64.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's go the other way and convert 18 degrees Fahrenheit into degrees Celsius. The equation looks like this. We first need to subtract 32, then multiply the result by 5 ninths, giving us negative 7.8 degrees Celsius. If you are ever unsure if you are using the equation correctly, you can always check by converting between the boiling points of each temperature. I hope that helps you understand a little more about the temperature scales and how to convert between them. I'd love to hear your questions and comments, so throw them below, and don't forget to watch my other videos. I'll catch you next time. Thank <laughs> you.